All right, guys, for this video, I am going to be showing you things that Instagram made me buy. I am a sucker for Instagram ads. I feel like they know me so well and I bought quite a few things from Instagram ads before. So I thought for the next few weeks, whatever pops up as an Instagram ad that I like and I buy, I'm going to put it to the side and wait and film this video and show you guys what I got. I think it's interesting because everyone's Instagram ads are different. So that's what I did. So I have a few things here that I'm going to show you. Okay, the first package is from a brand called Everly Well. This is definitely something that I've gotten quite a lot of ads for. So I finally decided to buy it and try it. It is the Everly Well Food Sensitivity Test. I wanted to do one of these for a long time. I've heard good things about them and bad things about them. So I thought I would try one out, take a test, get the results back and see what happens. So I think what I saw from the ad is that you pierce your finger and it collects blood and then you send that off to them and then they will give you your results back like on their website. It says that it'll test 96 foods. It's really interesting because they have egg whites and egg yolks on here. And if you saw a vlog of mine from probably March where I was talking about some problems that I was having with my body. I randomly started getting sick every time I would eat eggs. So I stopped eating eggs for a while. I can eat egg whites now and that doesn't affect me, but I haven't tried a whole egg yet. So I'm very interested to see what the results are going to be. What up, guys? Gabe's going to help me do the food sensitivity test because you need to prick my, my finger. Welcome. Congratulations on taking control of your health. Started. Register your kit using your unique ID. Okay, so I'm going to have Congrats. to do that. How do they find out what your... I have no idea. I don't know. It just seems like... Here. You're... You're Brother's calling. Oh, whoops. All right, guys, I'll be back. Hold on. Just taking a call. Yo, yo, what up? All right, I'm back, guys. Do you want to watch a video? It says for best results, watch our collection video. So basically how it works, you're going to like prick my finger and then we have to put blood. We have to fill these circles with blood. So we need to fill what every heck? single circle with blood. It's essential to get your blood flowing before you collect. Do this by warming your hands with hot water and then shaking them at your sides. Okay, I will watch the video while you do that. Okay. All right, Dr. Gabriel Rafael Conti here. I'm uh, getting my heart rate up right now. Thank you. Give me your hand. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe it off. It's completely sanitary. Do you, are you positive you know what you're doing? Yes. <gasps> you're yes. gonna do it right now? Yes. Hold on, let me look away, please. Yes, give me your finger. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Woo! There we go. Oh, now we're gonna... ow. How am I supposed to get five circles? Give me your finger. I don't want you to prick it again. <gasps> oh, oh, how'd you do that? I'm a scientist. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. I can feel the blood coming like down my finger. Oh, there we go. Oh, that really did it. Wow. Oh, all right. Are we done? Are we four out of five right now? No. <gasps> We're two and a half out of five. Are you kidding? We're almost three out of five. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. My finger's throbbing. No, I hate it. Ready? Don't look. Three. Ow. I had to I had to do it, babe. I knew you were gonna do it on two though. Alright, it's coming. Oh babe, this is so good. Guys, if you're thinking about doing this, it oh. really only like hurts for a second. I'm getting the goods out of this freaking finger. This oh my gosh, finger. dude. I'm more dominant arm. My gosh, what was wrong with my other finger? What was wrong with your left hand, babe? Thanks, doctor. Oh, you're welcome, patient. So I'm gonna send it off and I don't know how quickly I get the results, but I'll let you guys know when I get them. All right, this next package is from the brand SandCloud. I have been getting SandCloud ads for probably six months and it's very accurate because I have been looking up different towels for the new house. So I finally went ahead and made an order. So SandCloud has like bath towels and beach towels, that sort of thing. They are 100% Turkish cotton. This says SandCloud's mission is to create the best sustainable, eco-friendly products in the world while raising awareness for marine conservation. A portion of profits go toward organizations that support our mission to hashtag save the fishies. So I think I ordered four bath towels and then two hand towels. The material is very nice. It's thinner than a normal bath towel. So I guess one side just has the cotton and then on this side, it's more of a towel material. This is very soft though. It's not like scratchy or too thick. So I'm gonna wash these so we can try them out and I'll let you know what we think. Okay, the towels are washed and dried. They are ready to be tried. What do you think? What's your first impression? I really like these towels. They're very pretty. They're very soft. They're thin, like comparing to these, like the actual towel part, I feel like is thinner. Towel review. I was just gonna say, well, now since we're a towel review channel. Well, this isn't, you know. Let me walk you through the exact, where they source their material from. Turkey. And since it's they're Turkish. It's 100% Turkish cotton. Because that's part of the selling point. So we're gonna test them out. I feel like that's all we can do is just test them out and tell you if we like them or not. Another fun thing that you can do with these is when you hold this up like this 
you disappear. That's why you need to buy these towels. <laughs> I forgot to end this little segment, but we have been using the towels for the past few days. We both really love them, so that's awesome. They are very thin and they dry really nicely. So that's basically all I have to say. Um, so I'm glad I tried them out. All right, this next package is from a brand called Barefoot Scientist. This was one of those ads that I got and I was like, hmm, this is a little strange, but I kind of want to try it out. So this is like an exfoliation hydrating set for your feet. All right, so first of all, we have the greatest professional micro graded rust. So this is going to grate and exfoliate your feet. Like when you go and get a pedicure and they exfoliate, that's always the worst part because it tickles so much. And then they have this high dive, scientifically advanced, intense hydration cream. And then last but not least, we have the Sleep On It scientifically advanced overnight moisturizing gel socks. <laughs> so basically you grate, exfoliate your feet, then put this cream on, put the socks on, sleep in it, or I think you can keep them on for like an hour or something. And then it's meant to basically rejuvenate your feet. All right, I'm going to test out the Barefoot Scientist foot exfoliation. So I'm going to start with their The Greatest Professional Micro-Graded Rasp. Effectively and safely remove built-up layers of dry, hardened, or calloused skin for soft, smooth feet. Lightly file back and forth across desired areas to smooth away calluses and rough skin. Let's have a look. Okay, so this... <laughs> This looks like my Zesta that I have in my kitchen. So I guess what you do, if this was your foot, you kind of just gently go back and forth. I'm gonna give it a go and I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> this is weird. I'm not gonna vlog my feet, so you just, you're gonna get this lovely angle. Oh, interesting, okay. I can definitely see things like coming off, like I guess dry skin coming off. It's definitely doing something, like I can see that it's exfoliating. All right, finished with this. This definitely made a difference. If you've ever gone and gotten like a pedicure, it's basically, exactly what they do. But yeah, I can definitely notice a difference. So I'm gonna move on to the High Dive Scientifically Advanced Intense Hydration Cream. Combines 15 of the world's most effective moisturizers to heal dry, cracked skin for visibly softer, smoother feet. I guess I just put a bunch of this on my feet to then put these gel socks on. So this is the Sleep On It Scientifically Advanced Overnight Moisturizing Gel Socks. This sounds really interesting, gel socks. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, they are kind of, okay, whoa, how cool. Okay, this is cool. This is different than what I thought it was gonna be, so. I don't know if you can see on the inside, it's like silicon. I'm gonna lather my feet in this cream and then put these socks on. Okay, now I'm gonna put the sock on. This feels, this feels very bizarre. All right guys, I have one sock on. It feels like your sock is wet, which makes sense because it's silicon on the inside and you just have a bunch of cream on your feet. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable. Gabe would hate this, like he would hate the feeling of this. Okay, second sock is on. It doesn't feel very good. The only way I can explain it is it feels like you're wearing a drenched sock. So I did this at 5 p.m. I think usually you're meant to do it like before you go to sleep, so you sleep in it. So I guess I just wear these around the house for a few hours. All right, here are the socks. They feel very weird to walk around in. Okay, it's a few hours later. We um, literally did it at the same time. Okay, so I have had these socks on for four hours now. I mean, I'm doing it during the day when you're definitely meant to do it at nighttime while you're sleeping. I've had to wear sandals with these socks on the entire time because otherwise my feet slip out of the socks because they're just so, they're very like mushy and just slide off very easily. Okay, I'm gonna take my socks off. I seriously can't walk around in them. <laughs> oh, whoa. I feel like that actually worked really well. I feel like you could just get some moisturizer, moisturize your feet and put socks on like without having to buy it all. But it is good that it comes with the greater thing and it was a fun experience. But yeah, my, my feet definitely feel like soft and smooth. It actually worked really well. Like I can really tell a difference. They're nice and exfoliated. Ooh. The next thing I got is from the brand Hatch. This is also something that I've heard so much about. I've actually tried this same type of thing, but with a different brand, and it didn't work very well. I think I had a faulty one, but basically Hatch is an alarm clock. It says all-in-one personalized sleep solution. Personal sleep routine, reading light, sleep sounds, and a sunrise alarm. What I like about this one is that it hooks up to an app, which is really cool, because Gabe and I don't like having our phones right next to us when we sleep. We usually put them in another room, so I'm very interested to try this. The one that I had literally didn't even turn on, so hopefully this one works well, but yeah, I 
I'm very excited. So yeah, this light gradually brightens up the room um, to help you wake up more naturally. I am going to set up the hatch and we're going to test it out tonight. So I'm very excited to see how it goes. All right, let's open it up. Ooh, cute. This is what it looks like. It's actually very nice and minimal. That's sitting on a dresser or something. Looks pretty cute. So I'm going to set this up just on a little table next to our bed. All right, I'm going to go plug this in and download the app. And then I feel like the rest will be self-explanatory, but we will see. Plugged in. Sorry for the bad lighting, by the way. I have you sat on the bed and you can see the bars of the bed um, because I have the lamps on. All right, I got the app, add device. All right, I think it's connected. No, I'm having a little bit of trouble with it, but I don't think it's finding my Wi-Fi. I think I need to wait till Gabe gets home so he can help me with this because I'm having a little bit of trouble. Okay, I'm not sure if it's our Wi-Fi. It's having trouble connecting to our Wi-Fi, which is confusing this is probably Drug. the maybe fifth time we're trying different combinations like wi-fi on wi-fi, on, wi -fi, wi -fi off. off we brought it out here because the route is right behind the tv we're still having trouble with it which is really disappointing i think i'm going to keep trying it like probably because we're moving in a few days i'll try it in our new house yeah, and we're going to work with the new wi-fi for the sake of this video guys i'm unfortunately not able to try this out which is such a bummer because i was really looking forward to it hey guys i'm going to update you if i figure that out or if you have one of these and you've had the same problem please let me know how you fixed it we have not given up we're trying my phone <laughs> and i have a feeling it's six inches away from the router if this doesn't work oh, i'm please. gonna lose my mind just fyi guys this was all up including tax 139 dollars and five cents i know oh, same <sighs> issue i'm not even gonna try that's the same freaking all right i say let's try one more time let's restart the router i say we just go order some postmates on an app that works all right guys so that is everything that instagram ads made me buy let me know if you've had any ads for the same brands or what you always get ads for i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye